In the chaotic last days of the U.S. presence in the country, nearly 130,000 people were airlifted from Afghanistan, including more than 50,000 Afghans who will be resettled in the United States. My name is Gabriella Shan, and I'm the Refugee Resettlement Coordinator for Jewish Family Service in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. We have clients who have been here for a couple of years and receive asylum, and those clients were constantly um, helping just to collaborate resources with community organizations and also to provide any kind of support that uh, any person would need it for their life and well-being in the Berkshires. We launched a pilot in December of 2021 where we put a public call to anybody who wanted to participate in what we call a host team. Our host team model is five or more individuals who come together. We got involved with Jewish Family Services. Through Jewish Federation, they put out a plea and we offered. And at one point we were gonna get a family and they went to uh, Washington State. And a week later we were asked, do we want a young man who is not 18 yet? and who would be with us for nine months, and we said yes. We've raised three boys, so we figured we, can do we could do that. So we, the first day we met Mayor, he moved in. We had never met him before, and he moved into our house that day. And it was wonderful. The entire experience was wonderful. And it continues to be. Yeah. In many ways, he is part of our family now. Yeah. We received four single guys, <laughs> and so that was beyond our expectation, and, and it's been a wonderful experience. The very first thing that we did was gather everything that was needed to live in an apartment and uh, give them all the furniture and clothing that they needed to be ready to settle in America. It was very powerful to help Mayor understand how unusual his experiences were. For him, it's just what he knows. But there was a point where uh, we were getting ready for him to leave for school. And I said, how many of your freshman classmates do you think came out of a war zone at Williams College? The answer is not, not many. If people don't understand the system and they don't understand the struggles and they don't understand what is happening internationally, they have a more hardened viewpoint. I think when people really warm up to understanding what the situations are and why people are coming here in the first place, um, it really helps them to have a different lens in, in how they perceive having new neighbors. There were times that he'd come upstairs and I'd look at his face and I'd say, what happened? And he'd say, they just arrested one of my professors because he was, he was accused of being, done, having done something by the Taliban. And that was his experience. And so in many ways, he lives in two worlds and so did we, or so do we. Yep. The guys that we've worked with have done tremendous amount in the last seven months. They're all fully employed and stable right now, which is really miraculous. I think the best thing we can do is get people to meet each other. When you start to meet people, when you see who they are, whether they're coming from Afghanistan, whether they come from, from Central America, when you meet them, you humanize them. You can only demonize those whom you don't know. I never underestimate the refugee experience. It's so incredibly 
challenging and, and heartbreaking in a lot of ways, but it's also just incredible to see the resilience of, of people. Once a person is safe and they are given the opportunity, they really have a, a different viewpoint on life and it's just incredible to see them thriving. You know, at the end of the day, you have to look at yourself and say, have I done the right thing as much as I could do? Did I do the best I could? And what can I do better tomorrow? Including Meher and our family and, you know, working to help the Afghan community means that we continue to do the work, to do the work that we started out in our professional lives to do, which is to make this world a better place. And it's not just a Jewish place, because as Jews, we are mandated to work for others whom we don't know and who are not like us. So that's what we're doing. Thank you.